to go each quadrant. Yeah. Because I, I would set off some in Tupelo, not in Newport. I would set off some where we had them in Diaz, Swiston, or whatever, not in Jacksonport. Okay. And I've worked all that. So I do know that they can be set up for different yeah. quadrants. Yeah, they can be done. Yeah. And, it, and it's like Charlie said, it's whatever you do. But, I mean, OEM could probably tell you more and do more. Am I not correct? However the county wants to undo it. Right. No. So that would be up to the county and OEM directly. Yeah. But thank you. I, I just wanted to ask you about the sirens when yeah. it was uh, brought up. That was a concern. Yep. Do you have any idea if there's any more grants available? <coughs> I'm not checked. I'm not checked. Not and that's why, the, I mean, that's why the, the county turned them over to the cities, and that right. would be up to the cities on. The county would be willing to, if there was a grant to a buck with those. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should look at this or something. And I don't know, like yeah. Justin said, you know, some of them are tore up and well, not been We might all check to see if there's some grants to get some of those new ones. I mentioned to stay after what hit us with uh, Little Rock. But we're going to make some money available. The state's going to make money out there for some sirens. I'll stay here. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's did you hear the weatherman on? When they were reporting that tornado at yeah. Little Rock, and he's like, "Why in the world is they not set off the sirens yeah. 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 in Little Rock?" So, Rich, did you have something? No, I was just kind of comment. Like okay, that. Justin did. There, you could turn it on, siren on remotely for just our area, right? Yeah, you should. I have yeah. our apartment. So there was, you had that dual yeah. capability. I didn't know they consolidated. Can we still do that? Mm -hmm. So you know, that might be working with the fire department to, to get them to individually set them. And I guess it would be up to the mayors too. So I mean, we'd have to talk to the mayors and see what they wanted, and because technically them are their time. I mean, part of it too is educating the public, like yeah. Code Red. Yeah. Or you know, just that, that siren to me, it's like, hey, the sun's shining, but hey, it alerts me to then check further yeah. to see, okay, where is it? You know. We can help with that. I mean, okay, we got. Girls, you have. Can I throw out something in report, please? Yeah, go uh, ahead, Alyssa. Sorry. Uh, extension Office, Alyssa Daigle. Gary and I have done the emergency preparedness <coughs> awareness for the last year, the traveling event. It is a bit of an inconvenience when these sirens go off, but if you have an eight minute window from the time it comes across Fillmore and it's coming across, that small inconvenience of looking up in the sky, it may actually save a lot. Mm -hmm. So the elected officials might need to consider that. When it hits Israel County, does the entire county need to know? Chances are some of the county might care, but then you may have great grandma in West Virginia. So it's kind of something, it's a dual edged sword. Just kind of yeah. think about that before y'all make any rash decisions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hank, did you have something? Do we have anybody on call on the road to Park on Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, we went and looked at that bridge on Bear Creek, and we couldn't cross it Saturday. You're talking about the one on uh, that near the place down in Wide Widener. Where's it down in Widener? It's down. You turn there, the old Widener turn stops, go back towards Hog Park. <laughs> that Bird Creek there, you cannot cross it. What's wrong with it? Could get across. You know, she might have been the four wheel drive, but a car could cross it. So it's washed out? Yeah. The road grader was sitting a quarter of a mile from it. I never got her. Did you call anybody? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I can't be on call if I don't get a phone call. And I think, and Doyle, in the sheriff's office, most of the time people call the sheriff's office or call me or Doyle directly. If there's a, a road issue, and we'll get out there and get it taken care of. Doesn't matter if it's dull. Does it matter on time on getting out? Anytime. Right? So yeah, just you gotta give me a call. I don't know if you don't call me. They're handy. Put out this uh, on the Monster Creek Road. Yeah, we talked about a little bit of privacy, but uh, yeah, I'd like to somebody address it with a form and just see. Is that kind of road? Is that a private or a county or a public? <laughs> <laughs> really, I don't know what that is, really, to tell you the truth. So years ago, it was, so all the mailboxes are at the first bridge. 
I don't know if you've ever been down that road or not. All the mailboxes are at the front of the bridge. The rest of the road, very seldom was it ever maintained. Um, there is about five houses back there, and yes, we've been maintaining it. So technically, yeah, I've made it a public road because nobody's going to run anybody off in there. And uh, we've done some road work in there and replaced one bridge down there that got washed away. All the other bridges were never inspected by the state. I don't know whose bridges they were. No idea. Um, somebody or some, I don't know what happened. If people were making phone calls or what, but the state went down and inspected. So the state, you know, we pay that service and the state, you know, they didn't have them on their list. So they shut one of them down, it's condemned very last one if you've ever been down there and so we blocked it off all the creek all the bridges have low water crossing with every one of them is uh, accessible unless it rains unless it rains <laughs> same <laughs> way at your house i mean you know and they do that when they yeah, but i can get out of my house at any time okay no i mean i have not blocked in my room <laughs> there's a lot of people that are <laughs> yeah still when I that area cool. if it rains in the Moxie Creek, that excuse that's got an excuse that's because yeah. there's no bridges back there. Yeah. So what is it? So I don't, I don't know who the what, the mayor brought that to me because he couldn't be here tonight and asked me to give that to y'all. The concern is this citizen that wrote this letter with low water crossing, your ambulances and your fire trucks won't cross that to come help you. Is what he's saying, and he's asking why should he have to pay his fire dues and his fifty dollar ambulance fee? No one's gonna come to his house. Nobody's gonna come to his house. That's the gist of, of why it's here. Yeah. I used to cross some fire truck that maybe they won't make. So we need to do something to. Well, no, I mean, we worked work. over the, all the low water crossings have been worked. Yeah. All them bridges are. Um, so the I, I, our ambulance service that he pays $50 for will go pick him up if he's in trouble? I don't, I, I don't know. I should be able to get back there. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we at least need to make it to where they can get to. Yeah. So if it's a. Unless it's this private road, but is it state inspected? I don't it know is. What that, it is private. private inspected now. So well, I don't know what you can call it that private, Jim. <laughs> no, not at the very end. end. Not past that last bridge. Not past the last bridge, but no. all of them are inspected. Six, maybe? There ain't that. You got the one at the very first. Yep, several so burns. Yeah. There's the next one. Mr. Miller there. lives back there, and then a lady. Uh, the teacher shot down there on that second one on the left. Yeah. Mr. Crutch was the next one. And then that Mr. Memphis is at the very end. Him and another gentleman are at the very end. And, I mean, this is, you know, to replace all five bridges. Right. Uh, will they not cross because of the one, though? That's my question. Is That's what I, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 this is the first I've heard of it. So. I mean, Mr. Memphis, I, he was in my office the other day. He was. He didn't say a word. He was tickled to death. I don't know what. He even wanted. He was actually going to pay for. He wanted Chad on the road and want the county to haul, haul him some Chad. Okay. Uh, on the road. So I don't know. He was. He wasn't unhappy at all. Well, right, we need to do something to correct it. Very much. Yeah. But I was under. I was missing four. I was under five. No, so that's one. kind of interpretation there. Yeah. But they are the one helping, so we have to file a notice of intent to see how all that works. Yeah. Because so it's about two, three hundred thousand dollars, fifty five, twenty five percent match. You don't know on the FEMA deal? Since it's been shut down. Yeah. Since it's been condemned. Hazard mitigation. Hazard, that's what I mean. Hazard, hazard mitigation. Mitigation. So we can get funding for that. Yes. Since it's been condemned. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because now it's all water from the cross. Right. No, I mean, I asked you last week, and you told me no, that nothing qualifies. Well, well, I have well, well, You go ahead and watch the video if you want. Uh -huh. it it did. Did. That's just what we, me and her talked about some stuff the other day. Because I wanted to know what was available. Yeah. And, we and that, they are all in, involved. This may not be available. I mean, I don't know. Well, and this comes back that we will have to get an engineer. Yeah. 
Okay. But uh, part of that mitigation plans is they will cover the cost of that. Right, that's the cost of that. She can't, uh, in the letter she explains she can't tell you what the cost of that is, sometimes it's getting good paper. But it's fair that we had to follow notes and get to apply. Is it three hundred thousand dollars total, or is this for each project? Up to three hundred thousand per project or per per county. Depends on how we write it up. Because I told her there was five bridges up, so I said I would be four. Right. I told her because she talked about a cost base of bridge shield. We had to have one more bridge shield. And I asked her how that all come about. Hey, there's more than one. She said that's a FEMA calculation in there some way. Right. right. So, but other bridges are critical. Would that do anything with that? Since they already said they're one of them is condemned. And that's why I'm saying one will be, one could be used. We could apply for one. Right. So if we can, and we might be able to apply for more if the others are showing, but I mean, what used to, I don't know, we can be able to put it right. used to, if you had a bridge, that was a project. Right. Another bridge was, was another project. project. Yeah. You know, but this is a creek that kind of weaves in and out of all of them, so they make sure it's one thing. Right. But we can go to another bridge somewhere that's washed out. I think this is a service that, that we... Is, that's Terry McCall. She's out one of her plans out. I mean, I, like I said, I spent quite a bit of time on the phone with her today, and she actually has a call and check the plans and call me back. Okay. <coughs> so I'll there, call her tomorrow and talk to her. Call her, talk to her. And talk to her I right. missed her call today. She and told that's probably why she called because I didn't want to call her that long. I'm having words where I'm going to get some more when she has that. But the funding is there, and apparently when I read it, you know, maybe it'll get funny by the GRI process. You know, and here's the deal. It's 25%. Most of that can be in. It can be in kind. In kind. So it costs you nothing to get a $300,000 bridge bill. Yeah. Theoretically, if you're willing to do the work yourself and not hire somebody to come in and do it. Right. You know, you're, use your own equipment and people. But if we're going to spend like the first bridge cost was, what, $70,000? Mm -hmm. you know, this one costs $70,000. You know, they take 75% of that. Right. You know, and for talking about having to dip into some ARPA money to spend this, I mean, that's some of the less expensive ARPA we can direct somewhere, somewhere else. else. I agree 100%. Mm -hmm. Will that bridge on honey stuff not qualify for hazardous mitigation? No. I, I don't know. know. We'd have to ask her. Because it was be interesting. I asked her a lot of questions today, and she's finally said, well, i got to call and find out. And she started coming back with this other stuff. She was finding out. But now it's kind of a critical thing. We might be able to ask her. Yeah. Because I've always asked, well, why can't you have mitigation? Yeah. We, we use and you can go time. on that. You can go on that website and look at. I don't know, but I'd rather talk to a person. Yeah. That website. That irritates me when we come to look at your website. Yeah. I want to talk to a lot of person. reason on that website. No, no I just you want to talk to a person. Yeah. That way, if something's wrong, I say, but you told me. All right. I don't want to throw that out for everybody. That's why I found out today. Good. Anything else? Charlie looks like he was busy this year or this month. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Say aye. Aye.